How was your visit, Mr. President? Mr. President, Mr. Jack, tell us about your call of president. Dr. Duck, very optimistic. So we just got back. We had a great tour of NIH. And Dr. Fauci is here along with our secretary and uh, a lot of progress. Uh, maybe, uh, Alex, you'd like to start and then we'll have the doctor say something. Well, we just had an incredible visit up at NIH at the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease that Dr. Fauci leads. And the president got to hear from the actual bench scientists who, within three days, within three days, developed a potential vaccine for the novel coronavirus. And they reported some really important news to the president that yesterday the Food and Drug Administration authorized the entry of that vaccine into phase one safety clinical trials. So what we did is we just had the opportunity to take the president and show him the actual individual researchers who were doing the things that we've been talking about. And what they were referring to is that the actual uh, scientists, middle level, senior, junior, were there and what explained to the president uh, what I've actually been explaining to the press, but showed it on, on graphics, how after the virus was identified, the sequence was taken and put into this platform called messenger RNA. And what happened is that literally within a period of, of a couple of days, we were able to stick it in. And now, as I said, we were going to go into a phase one trial in about three months from that day. Well, we're probably, you know, a month or so. I mean, I don't want to overpromise. I said a month and a half the other day, and maybe about a month or so. And then very soon, we'll be sticking the first person with the vaccine. But I want to caution everybody, that's only the first stage of the development of the vaccine. Because we emphasize to the president that since we'll be giving the vaccine to normal, healthy people, that safety is very important. And you really need to know that it, that it actually works. That next phase is a phase two trial. We're not going to be able to start that for at least another three or four months after we go in. So the whole process is going to take a year and a year and a half at least. You want to talk about therapeutics? So. Yeah, the other thing that's interesting that we, we explained to the, to the president and, and the secretary already knew is that the difference between testing a vaccine and testing therapy are almost qualitatively different because with a therapy you're going to give it to someone who is already ill and you compare it to standard of care so within a reasonable period of time you're going to know if it works or not so right now as of like today there are two large trials going on in china that are comparing one of the drugs and there are several one called remdesivir with standard of care alone and when we get those results, which likely will be several months, because you're gonna to have to accumulate hundreds of patients to decide. We have our own trial right now in the United States with some of the people in the University of Nebraska who were infected and put there. So once you get the result with the therapy, unlike a vaccine, which takes quite a while, once you get a result, you can start dis distributing the, the medication. No, I didn't say that. I said, if the drug works and you prove it works, you will treat them. I am not saying that three months from now, we're gonna have a drug to treat people. Okay, if it works. No, I, no, I didn't say. I said, you have to accumulate enough patients. When they get the 400 patients in each trial, that may take three months, that may take five months. I don't know. When the trial is over and they evaluate the data, if the drug works, then you'll be able to apply it. I haven't seen it. I'm focused on this. The country's in great shape. The market's in great shape. I'm focused on this. This is very important. I like middle income tax cuts. I think it would be a good time. This year? Middle income tax cuts. If the Democrats would approve it, I'd go along with it. Is that the payroll tax cut? Payroll tax, yeah. Payroll tax. This year. 
I would do it if they could approve it. I would do it. And then in terms of travel, obviously, it's coming around the border. Americans would be concerned, like, because, for example, if you like your son, you know, it's like, yeah. I think think this. I think we have a lot of great places we can travel to right in the United States. We have a lot of great places we can travel to. Said how many cases we actually have right now? Estimates. Well, we we can only have confirmed cases, so we don't estimate other than the the 60 cases we have from here in the United States that are confirmed, as well as the 48 cases that we have that came from our repatriation activities. We're very careful to not try to extrapolate or predict with an unknown virus here in the United States. Go ahead. That's up to them. Hey, let them stay in the United States. If they don't travel, if they stay here, that's not a bad thing for us. I, I've been saying for a long time people should do that. Do you think the Fed way should have done this today? No, I think they could have done I think they should do more. I think they hinted that they're not going to do much more. And that's unfortunate. He gave a very bad signal, in my opinion.